What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. And in this video, we are gonna be doing some prismatic shard runs. I decided I wanted to try prismatic month pride on Twitch. And you know, I'm, just, I'm a fan of prismatic shard in general, you guys know this. So in this video, I cut out the intro by mistake. I believe I always upgrade a card, some random potions or something like that. I chose upgrade a card, I upgraded a bash. Now enjoy the prismatic ironclad from floor zero. It's a hell of a run. Peace. Let's begin. Let's begin our rainbow runs. Brrr. Circle is a meaningless relic. Sam knows all about it. I think Sam is the only player that plays on this. Boom. Let's take a reinforced body. Sure thing. Okay, so far so good. The best part about it is that I didn't have to go to a shop. I also got it for free. That's also a good thing. What's up, Cosmo? Ooh, wheel kick follow up barrage. Is follow up better than drop kick? Follow up is better than drop kick, isn't it? Like, that's a better card than Dropkick, probably. Well, Dropkick draws a card. Yeah, the Steel Starter, Endless. Wheel Kick's a good attack, though. I just don't have the energy for it. But you know what we can get energy with? We can get Turbos. Prismatic Twitch Integrated? Yeah, maybe after this. We'll do that after this. I think Follow is a better attack, but Wheel Kick has potential, of course. What's wrong, buddy? I just took you out on the longest walk of your life. Can you guys see him? You guys can even see him. Come to Lappy. Come to Lappy. Come to Lappy. Come to Lappy. Hey. Because of the cost, the energy. Because of the energy costs. I'll be. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Dokim is frozen, unfortunately. Dokim is frozen, unfortunately. I must relinquish the dog cam, unfortunately. That did not work out like I wanted it to. Wait, okay, I just realized I should have had lethal if I, yeah. Okay, interesting. Cor, cor, okay, I don't want to ruin your name. Corve, Corvi Hale, Corve, Corvi Hale. Welcome. Welcome, 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 man. Yeah, I patched that big time. These are interesting cards. These don't make a lot of sense. These cards don't make that much sense. But I will say that backflip on the on the iron flat is quite nice. Damn, I'm gonna get wrecked here. I'm gonna get absolutely smacked. I should have done it so I wouldn't get weakened. Now I'm now I'm weakened, which is it's okay. It works out. Follow up is, is follow up is pretty good. Follow up is doing some work. Consecrate? Consecrate is a good that's better than cleave. Consecrate is better than cleave. For this current juncture in time. Oh. 
All right, we gotta consecrate and we gotta dream. Let's go. Uh oh, did we die to this bad boy? What do you guys think? It's potential that we die here. We could do duplicate, duplicate on duplication. Uh, we could do duplicate on uh, follow up, I guess. Or we can duplicate the bash. Bash means that he's vulnerable for the rest of the fight, which is pretty good. The only problem is my best my best blocks are in my hands. Like, this is kind of a weird turn because my best cards are in my hand. My best block, my best attacks are in my hand. Turn one. And of course I want to get the center's bay now. Right. I guess I could stall and wait for like the redraw altogether. So now, now I can decide if I do double follow-up or bash. I kind of want to keep following and follow-up. This is fine. Singing bowl. Singing bowl? I suppose it's actually pretty decent um, with Prismatic Shard because we might, we might, we might not want a lot of cards here. Frost Dragon Knight, yeah, we can try. We're gonna do Prismatic on everybody. Now, Prey would be good if it potentially could be good, but at the same time, it just does nothing for the most part. <laughs> Uh, okay. Chaos is interesting as well. Pentagraph is huge. We're going for another elite. We're going for one more elite here. I want to get offered a rare. And follow-up is a very good attack. Follow-up is kicking ass here. Ooh, we got a buffer. That's pretty good. Should we rest here, or do we say that the buffer just beats the gremlin up? Oh, my little dog's on my lap. What if we uh, are going against Triple Century? Do we die? Do we die against Triple Century? I don't think so. Running, 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 running from myself. No more. I'm ready to face it all. Ouch, my bad. Might be. My B, homie GG. Lethal time. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Me and the bone is big. Dada -da is good. Percentage charts? I don't know. Maybe. I was, I was thinking about the whole month of June for Pride Month. Battle is pretty cool too, though. Don't get me wrong. I like die, 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 but I was thinking the whole month of June. We were perfect. Me the bone with prismatic pentagraph. Um. Hey, we're in great shape here. Our deck is pretty decent. Look at that! Look at that healing! Look at the healing. Flechettes, flechettes! Oh my God! The potion chance! I'm getting shafted. It's happening again. 
80%. That means I'm going to be missing out on at least two potions. Fish eye seems fun. I don't know if it's good right now because I don't have enough, enough skills, but it seems fun with the ironclad. Imagine strength and fish sheds. Yeah. Fun. Let's upgrade our best block for the future. And let's say I'm fine here. Look, easy. This is just uh, I me that's me messing up. That's just that's just a me messing up, that's all. I can take one damage. One damage. Hey shit. I do wanna play buffer, but Okay. How about we wait? We can play buffer and stuff like that. Alright, well, forget about buffer. At least we extend the vulnerable. Uh, I guess I could have done a strike. Um, I'm not playing that perfectly. I want to get buffer out of the deck, in the very least. Let's get it out of the deck. There's not really shine in this fight. Huh. Uh. I suppose I could just let myself take, it, take the hit. Yeah, circle is from Endless. You usually see it in, in endless. I got pride unlocked just by playing endless mode. Alright. So they gave me 80% potion chance, right? Where I don't get a potion. And the potion that I do get before it gets reset is a smoke bomb. That's the way that's the game's way of saying, hey, screw you, buddy. Take your prismatic shard somewhere else. That's fair. Now, I forgot to mention that when you take prismatic shard, the rare cards get drastically worse. I don't know what it is. By some process of Osmosis. It takes all the rare cards, finds the worst ones, and puts it into a pack for you to open and marvel at. Like, oh, do you want yourself an establishment huh? or a devotion? No? Okay, take the berserk. Okay, I'll take the berserk. Sure. Sure, would I? Am I taking the berserk? You like devotion? Devotion says, play me for one energy and minus one card draw so that on the fourth turn, you can go divinity. Did I mention that if you get me on turn two, that means on turn five, you'll have divinity? Sorry, turn six. Um, you'll see my dividends on turn six of a hallway fight. I wonder what could happen in six turns of a hallway fight. You know what I mean? Now in a boss fight, okay. In a boss fight, turn six is probably relevant. I suppose I don't need to cough a rest when I have panograph me in the bone, right? Suppose resting is not important. Yeah, we have a berserk, which means we're probably gonna take damage. But again, we have me in the bone. Or we could do yeah. I guess, wait, I forgot to mention, if it's Pandora's, do I get random, random cards from every class? How does Pandora's work? I didn't even thought, stop to think about it. Pandora's could have been interesting. I think it only transforms to Ironclad cards. Because it's not a combat screen. 
it's not a reward screen so it, it, i believe it's just combat screens that are changed that is my philosophy hey i got to do berserk let's go hey my buffer look at my buffer go Woo! now we're cooking with gas It'd be nice if I have lethal here. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, one strike, please. One strike, please. Ooh, fruit juice. Ooh, like water. If you end your turn in calm, you gain five block. Now, I'm pretty calm on the ironclad. I'm, I'm always, aren't I always calm? This is a decent card. If I have skills. Do I have skills? Sometimes. I mean, I think escape plan is just generally pretty good. It's hard for escape plan to be bad. Time meter and gremlin not, notwithstanding. All right. Yeah. Maybe max two max HP is slightly better. I don't know. Speaking of max HP. Speaking of max HP. I like final pain. Final pain gets worse because. We're missing a lot of exhaust synergies because we're not playing Ironclad necessarily. Now, are there other degenerate exhaust things in the game? Oh, now all of a sudden, Blade Dance. Shop is class, class based. Yeah, it's only combat screens that get changed. So, Blade Dance becomes a thing. All of a sudden, we find a Blade Dance and we're rolling in the block. And this is my favorite thing is to get. To get shivs and final pain, that's my favorite thing. I kind of like Lee's Waffle, but there's probably another shop. Transform or Mutagenic? Transform's not bad either. The Shrek was just a product of my mistake. I was trying to give myself... I was trying to give myself Prismatic Shard and I ended up adding a non-existing relic and the game compensated. The game compensated by giving me um a circlet. I could probably remove wait, can I use the console to remove circlet? Can you remove relics? <laughs> when you think of your feet. Your head goes places. Look at this, I'm gonna go vulnerable. Boom! Well, shock is pretty good. Enlightenment! I forgot colorless cards are offered. Enlightenment! Reduce the cards, the cost of all your cards back to one. That's cool. Enlightenment is cool. Shock we've schooled her. What can go wrong in this fight? What could what could possibly go wrong in this fight? Everything? Okay, buffers blocking 22 damage it's pretty decent okay 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 could be worse could be worse taking 16 no big deal Okay, we're blocking. Okay, me and the bone is approaching. I kind of want to let me and the bone brought, but at the same time, yeah. Ridiculous. Tranquility. That would be an exhaust card that enters calm. They start 
of something big, potentially. Now, Acrobatics is a great draw card. I love it. It has discard synergy. It has got draw. And now it's in energy sources. Now, there's Turbo in the game. There's Seeing Red. There's Bloodletting. There's Aggregate. There's Tactician. There's con uh, Concentrate. There's Deus. Ex Machina. Machina. All right, so let's go face first into the darkness. Face fast into the darkness. It is here where you'll find your true potential. Dun, 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 dun. Meat on the bone is here. So is die die die. Glorious. Glorious, Mr. Potter. This was a good fight for us. Don't you guys think? Pretty decent fight for the man in red. Ooh, we got a buffer as well. Oh my god. And I got me in the bone? Nice. And we got Eternal Feather. Oh my god, we got every sustained thing in the game. Oh, joy. Everything that could sustain, I have it. Not everything, but mostly everything. All the good stuff. The feather. The bone. The pantograph. So let's just go balls to the wall. What do you guys think about Beam Cell? Beam Cell's kind of <laughs> underwhelming, isn't it? We're just scaling? That's a good. This, uh, you know, Bronze Out of Maiden is asking me that question. Like, hey, man. Where is your scaling? Well, I'm scaling max HP. There's that. Now, I could upgrade all strikes and defense. All right? Or I could remove, and by making the deck smaller, we can do follow-up more often, which is our best damage card. Now, again, that's not like the perfect solution. But it's a thing that we could do, is make the deck smaller, so that the cards that we do get by Prismatic Shard end up being more effective. We also have Bloody Idol coming as well, yeah? Okay. I mean, at the same time, we could be getting some effective block upgrades. Oh, all right. Let's go fight two more elites. Happy flower energy. I love it. I love the energy. I love the energy, as I say, unenthusiastically. The irony of it all. Uh, this is a tiny bit awkward. <laughs> Um, this turn is weird. Evening T peaks. So that buffer that we were talking about, just like, you know, just before. Alright, we have five energy. What could go wrong? I got all this card draw. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Take care, man. Alright, five energy is pretty good, I suppose. Six energy, oh wow. What can I do with six energy? Everything. A scene red, now that's a card, baby, yeah. Okay. So, yes, we are slow on scaling at the moment. This is true. This is true. Okay, we're also probably dying any second now. Is it worth playing Berserk here? Somehow I don't think so, but if I draw buffer next turn, then we the vulnerable is not affecting me next turn. And there's a decent chance we find buffer next turn. Why? Because we have 
Backflip and acrobatics. See, like, now we get buffer and it's not a big deal. Right? Because now we get buffer and it's not a big deal, right? Because now we get buffer and it's not a big deal, right? Mm. Well, you know. Guess we don't get buffer. But now we have a lot of energy, so we're happy. Right? Like, we're happy. This is happy days. Lethal. Lethal. Coming to your doorstep. Lethal. Lethal. Easy, easy, easy. Bottle flame. A knock. There's the scaling. I could scale poison over a long period of time. Interesting. How does it affect win odds? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to do a whole month of June Prismatic, and we're going to do the win rate. We're going to say the baseline is 66%. So if Prismatic gives me 70% or higher, then it's OP. Hey, we'll say baseline 65. Let's be fair. Well, it's, it's for pride. So it's Prismatic sample month, but actually just for pride. So, you know. The... the um. Then a block, yeah, a decent block, right? Yeah, we do. Bottle of flame is so, so eh. Let's upgrade this noxious and say, I got poison. What are you gonna do to me? What are you gonna do to me, sir? Oh, check this out. Okay, well that could have been better. All right. Could have been better. But me and the boat is here, so in the worst case scenario. In my darkest days. I have prismatic pantograph and meat. I guess This is awkward. Huh. This is a tad bit awkward. I like this the most. This seems the most circumspect. Because I can prevent two turns of damage, right? Get energy. Okay now, okay, now we have energy. Now we prevent more turns of damage. More turns of damage. Marine first bodies go with energy. Our block game is strong. Happy Flower is not proct though. So let's chill. I smoke bomb, you're gone. Cold okay, turbo is here, but cold snap is very good. Cold snap is potential, right? It's like a metallicize. It's like sort of like a metallicize, but in an attack. But cold snap is good. Okay. Let's see what we draw. I don't need this. This is the flex spot turn. Eh. It is a full block turn though. That's what that's what's happening. I am full blocking. Yikes. I prefer this. This gives me the heebie jeebies. Field of Pain currently doesn't make sense, but it's a power that can make sense sometimes. If that makes any sense at all. Maybe I'm not making sense, but Field of Pain could make sense given the right cards. I prefer it's perfectly stacked. Ooh, a Pulse Net Plus. And now we're getting some more. Defensive options. We have a shrug it off plus, which is decent as well. We have another berserk for even more energy for days, but that's not necessarily good. But I want to upgrade the existing berserk that I have, just so that it's not as lingering. We can take another cold snap and we can start doing some frost stuff. All of a sudden, we get a focus card. So now we have a funeral pain, a noxious fumes, and then a focus card. A cool two cold snaps are doing some block. I mean, it's just adding like a whole bunch of 
random tangential ways to solve block. But absent block is just fine. I mean, I don't need a. I mean, without the focus, course snap is still pretty decent because it does damage and it blocks. It's like an iron wave, but I like shrug it off. It's a little bit more effective towards strictly just blocking. I'm gonna upgrade this so it's a little bit easier to play. I say we we're okay here, but um, you know, I could also be wrong. There's no calipers. Like imagine there's calipers here, that'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a tough fight. So good luck. Oh, my only source of weakening is here. I would like to get a... a weaken. Without weaken, I'm a little bit scared, I suppose. Noxious Shumas is going to win the fight, though. I'll pop the region pot. Do I want to pop product buffer now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, buffer's going to save the hyper beam, and then it's going to buy time for Noxious Shumas to pop off. Is the theory. Because we can block this, right? Talk about the fact that buffer got hit by one damage. Let's not talk about that, please. But it's okay. We want we only want one buffer for the hyper beam. That's all we care about. That's one one buffer for hyper beam. We're happy. And now we can actually block the hyper beam with reverse buddy. It's <laughs> it's actually blockable here. Funny enough. Well, not quite. Oh, no, not quite. Unless... Okay, it wasn't blockable, but like... It's okay. That block is gonna be very useful. And now we have acrobatics. Block is potent. Our damage is scaling. Look at Noxious Shumas. Noxious Shumas is working. It's doing the thing. I hate these cards next turn. They're horrible. In a world <clears throat> where um, we could offer Demon Form all for one Stormer Steel. Now, Stormer Steel is actually, we have Feel No Pain now, remember. Feel No Pain, Stormer Steel says, discard like three or four cards on average, which then leads into nine block. Yeah, it's horrible. All for one can bring back what? Consecrate and Escape Plan. And other show class that I might get in the future. Demon form is set it, forget it. But Noxious Zooms is kind of set it, forget it too. But I do have the energy to make Demon form playable. This could be a skip. This could be a max HP. Dare say. Dare say, dare say. Weird because the noxious seems 
You think Demon Farmer scales aggressively? Does it? Demon Farmer requires attacks, right? Demon Farmer requires attacks for the aggressive scaling, quote unquote, to be in effect. Noxious Dreams doesn't require anything. The reason why attacks may not be viable is because we have to spend energy blocking it. Which is why Noxious Dreams is a thing. Curse key. Curse key is not that bad. At worst, I get one curse. And you know what? Now I'm going to have a lot of energy. Demon form is always playable. Energy is everywhere. And then... And then we just go ahead and smack up five elites here. Let's look for Mind Bloom as well. Hey, congrats, Serotonin Dragon. For you guys, I'll play Demon Form. Oh, but I also have this. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm actually seeing this even cuter. Salute Anvil. Anvil Tian Hold. They sound like a WoW character. Now, is that a is that your WoW name? Anvil Tian Hold. Leader of the Strong Forge. Eve Online, nice. Eve Online is nice. It's a good game. Calipers, where is it? Brrr. Happy Flower, no! I need you to be ready. Your roommate's guys plop next to you. Oh, that's so cute. Who needs block pot? Not in this life. Pommel strike is good. You know, playing more about it. I used to command 200, 100, 200 people would fleet back in the Fountain War. Space spreadsheet simulator is awesome. Pommel strike is pretty good. That's cool, man. That's cool stuff. Nice. Bomb Strike Plus is going to be a very nice uh, attack. Now we have Demon Form scaling, Noctis Shroom scaling, and we can just sit back, relax, and count the number of sheep. No, what we lack now is Echo Form. Brrr. See, there's a lot of good rares in the game. But the game likes to give me bad ones. Put a miracle into your hand at the start of your next X turns. I can take my energy that's high right now and make it even higher energy. Now I have infinite energy. Is there a time meter? Plus, that turns my energy, turns my energy into block because of feel no pain. It sounds okay. Um, crescendo is interesting. How about we take our strength and then double it? Brrr. The problem is getting out of crescendo. Now, if I had the ability to do like empty fist and I don't know, wrath is a little bit uh, crazy. I think two max is better there, but I'm going to take collectors because it's, you know, it's prismatic and in the spirit of prismatic, we're taking cards that are colorful. Look at that, full block. We can't spend the energy now, but soon. Oh, soon. 
We're gonna find skims. And we're gonna upgrade pummel strike and we're gonna have uh Oh that was shitty. Ooh! Look how rich we are. Oh dark embrace now. That makes collect a good card. Now you have draw with the exhaust. Oh my god. I didn't expect the dark embrace to show up in his pretty little face. Okay, that's this amount of gold is very scary. This amount of gold is a little scary. I should probably spend it immediately, right? But I did want to get uh, some caffeine. One sec. Um, my dog's on my lap. Can you guys see this? You guys want to do five prismatic rolls? Absolutely. But first, let me show you guys my dog. And then we'll get a drink. And then we'll do the prismatic rolls. Priorities. Look at him. Oh my god, my little boy. Oh, my little boy. Sleeping on daddy. Yeah, Ori's combat. The reason why Ori is good now, for you guys who don't know, all right, Ori is combat rewards, which means it affects the odds of rare card chances. So when you're in a combat, there is a cumulative chance for rare card. All right, for each combat reward you're seeing, the rare card is going up. Same with uncommon. Ori speed runs that process. Let me go get a drink. Actually, no, he's too comfortable. So we have Trip. It's interesting. Trip would be cool if it was... Oh, oh, oh. Cut through phase also the... Oh my god, these are good. Adrenaline is better though. That's gotta be. Strummer Steeler shows his head again. Protect is... Decent. I mean, Trip is cool, actually. I, I like Trip if it wasn't so... Like, I think it's just war card, but... Because Trip is... It's good. It, trick art it strips artifacts. I'm going to need that for Dono and Deca to strip artifacts. Right? Actually, well, trip strips artifacts are act for Elite as well. So does Dark Noxious Fumes, though. Oh, God, I wasn't done with the shop. Oh my god, I hate that I get baited. I wanted pen nib. I hate that it shakes me to the exit of the shot. I'm like, oh yeah, my job here is done. It's okay, I don't need pen nib. I don't need pen nib. What I do want is collect. Now Dark Embrace is popping off. Look at this. Where's Dark Embrace? Where's Dark Embrace? Where the hell is my Dark Embrace? Okay, fine. And we, the only thing that was left was... Uh, uh, we got everything we need from the shop, to be honest. Like, low-key, I... I don't even need any more of that shop. We got everything we needed. We're, we're gonna spend that money on something better, watch. Oh, Dark Embrace, look, card draw. Why are there so many burns in my deck? The hell is this? Did I draw every burn in existence in the... Shovel. Oh, I want to dig so bad. Dig, 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 dig. Ooh, that's a good one. I want to hit the shop as well. Oh, I also have to get rid of Blue Key for the next one. Oh, look at this. All right, roll the dice. You ready? It's okay. I mean, don't exist. Calipers. Let's pretend we have calipers just for a moment. Let's just close your eyes and imagine. 
Uh, we're so fine. Don't worry, Skate. We're so fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We are so fine. Dark Embrace. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Blue key. Yeah. It's a clumsy. Who cares? And now we can go for Mind Bloom. Ah. I'm going to go to the Campfire to Recall and Dig. Let's be honest. I'm going to go Campfire to Recall and Dig. But the clumsy is... Negative draw is th does suck. I don't want negative draw. I would like a Reaper as well. That'd be kind of cool. To be grace with the reaper. Um. Excuse me, sir. Maybe I should go to the, maybe I should go to the shop. Maybe I should go to the shop. Collect and reinforce body, that's a nombo. Hey, that's a nombo. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Go, 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 go. Look at you, Isaac. Obi. I got Blur. My favorite. I love Blur. Let's find Demon Form. I'm such a prophet. It's incredible. I'll do it my way. Ooh, I can collect. What's better, collect your reinforced body here? Does that do anything? Because it has energy, upgrades, and attacks. It also has a block. It's doing things. It's playing the game. Is zero even taking damage? I mean, not necessarily. Not necessarily. The thing is, we're really good on energy, so. I would agree if we weren't so stacked on energy to begin with. I would disagree, I mean. That's what I meant to say. I would disagree. I work my dark embrace. Hey yo, where's my dark embrace?
I just think Caliber is straight up. Or you know what? You know what I mean? <laughs> Barricade, please. Ooh! Sugar Plus and Offering. Offering is pretty decent. I like Offering. Kinda like Offering. Tickles my fancy. This deck scales like... I was gonna make a scale joke, but I was trying to think of like, okay, music related, or I go like the scale weight system, and I got lost in my own brain that I ended up, uh, frozen. That's when everybody says, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Collect is like underwhelming. I want to attack him, so I'm going. I'm doing this. Give me something good. Like I need double dark embrace. Is what I need. Look, I can full block and have buffer just to rub it in. Just to rub it in. Here's my block. Here it is. Oh yeah, I want to look for blur. Eh. All right, come on, calipers. One time for the one time or barricade. We're on the class that has barricade. That'd be kind of cool. Just give us a barricade one time for the one time. Oh my god, all this excess energy. Where's my? Okay, where are the skims? I will take a skim. Uh oh. Welcome to the world where I don't want Buffer to be proc'd. Yay. Glacier? Okay, but like, my block is good. Like, come on, guys, relax. Relax. That is pretty decent block. It's pretty decent. I just want card draw though. I think our block's pretty decent. I don't know if I need this glacier. Yeah, it wants to draw. I, I wonder if Glacier's worth it though, just to have like some blo more block. Do I want more block though? Yeah, I saw Pummel, but like, I, I think I didn't need the Strength Thump for Pummel. I still don't need the Strength Thump for Pummel. I don't, I think I'm fine with damage. Like, we're gonna be fine-ish. We just need card draw. Our, our main damage is pretty bad. We need, we need to get like one card that dumps Strength for sure. If you look at it, our deck has way too much block. Not enough cards or not enough actual physical damage cards.
This guy thinks he's gonna blow up. This guy thinks he's gonna blow up on me. Look at this. Collector scene red. Now that's a combo. Oh my god. That means we have energy for life. If we wanted it. So we have energy. Okay, cool. Flame bear does damage, but like, guys, I need to dig something phen phenomenal here. Okay, I mean, listen, I'm just getting out of the pool, all right? We're just getting out of the pool. That's not what I call phenomenal. I don't have a vault, so I actually might want to kill Deco first here, I think. Yeah, we have a lot of money for Act 4 Shop as well. All this energy. Now I'm gonna have negative card draw, but the card draw is gonna turn into a real card draw with Dark Embrace. I need Dark Embrace ASAP. Dark Embrace ASAP. Dark Embrace ASAP. There it is. There she blows. All right. So yeah, we take a lot of damage, but now we should be stabilized. Man, I'll tell you what. This is hot trash right now. Okay. Blur would have been timely. Alright, cool. Nice. All right, but I kind of like the daisies now that I have to embrace and play. I should probably go back to killing this guy, but I wasted so much energy in this guy. I mean, oh my god, I kind of like the daisies though. I've grown to like you, days. Nah, well. Take damage for uh, Mean the Bone. So to, in order for me to get Mean the Bone, I need to be at 49. That means I need to take 4 damage. So I need to get hit for both buffers, and then I need to get hit by 4 damage. It's doable. It's doable. Let's see. That's not gonna help me get hit, but maybe it will. Okay, let's see. So smack, smack. Is this smart to do four damage? Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? I can kill it if the worst case scenario. So this is very interesting. I need a block. For 27. 27 block. Beautiful. Now, this mother is dying to poison.
I need self damaging card ASAP. I did everything, but but the uh, so now and this this pretend let's pretend that we were gonna block for uh, fifty six. Okay, let's pretend fifty six block. Here it is. Okay, I would have taken ten. Alrighty, let's get our scaling cards out and win the game. Oh, sick. Let's just play Collect. Look at that. Boom! I should have done Acrobatics because I gotta find my, my Dark Embrace. I gotta find my Demon Form. I gotta find all these things, right? But whatever. What's the worst that could happen in one card? What's the worst that could happen? Reinforced Body right here. Ready? Reinforced Body right here. No. Well, I mean. Oh, it was right there. Oh, the reinforced body. Cheeky, cheeky. This fight is peculiar. So much energy, so many cards. So little everything. So little of everything else. What the hell? What the hell am I looking at right now? I need to play Bash. This deck is so... Much worse than it needs to be. But it's okay. We're gonna dig. Okay. Is there anything we need to upgrade before we dig? Cause I, I want to dig. I could upgrade Demon Form. That would help my life a little bit, just like a little bit, tiny bit, to have one extra strength to turn. But aside from that, um, I think maybe digging relic, relic is probably better. Yeah, I think digging is probably better. Cause what if we dig calipers? That would be kind of cool, right? All right, we have a big shot potentially. And I'm gonna dig yet again. Okay. Oh, battle trends is nice. Evolve is nice. Kunai is interesting. I think I'll take battle trends evolve. Maybe I'll take a, a ancient pot. What if I take ancient dexterity or ancient speed pot? 
So we like a battle we like evolve, we like the ancient pot. Uh, do we want to remove a strike? Potentially. Strikes are not that great. Actually, I kind of need my strikes. I, I'm over blocking most of the time. If it were to bottle lightning something, what would it be? If I were to bottle something, what would it be? Smoke the elite. <laughs> you think I'm gonna smoke the elite? I'm gonna discard this smoke bomb immediately. Is that the second smoke bomb I got this game? Man, the potions were not my friend this game. You bottle setup. Huh? You think he, we bottled the, uh, what? Offering? Bottle collect. You can take a shrug, I suppose. What if I need this smoke bomb for this fight? What if I needed the smoke bomb for this fight right here? I can kill the lady in the back. Yeah, my feet are exposed. Oh no. Uh oh. Is this TOS to expose my feet like this? Ah, uh, I wish I had more energy here. You, you, you gotta kill one of them to smoke bomb. Um, if I change the category to hot tubs, pools, and beaches? Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Evolve's pretty good to play. I kinda wanna play Berserk, but it's suicidal, isn't it? Thank you, Evolve. Probably should kill the guy on the left, though. And that, this is where we want buffer back, perhaps. Um. What's better to kill here? It's probably better to kill a spider shield. Uh. I 
Oh, so painful. I think I diverted my damage too much. I need to like focus. You see how like they're so low? They're like respectively very low. It means I diverted my damage way too much. I should have focused on Spire Shield or Spire uh, Spear. Still winnable though. But I diverted my damage way too much. Yeah, 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 they've way too much damage. I wonder if I have to do unvulnerable or... Okay. On the vulnerable? Ah. So I give us a 5 dexterity or should I stop the vulnerable? Probably stop the vulnerable, right? I just gotta survive and then we should be okay-ish? No, I, I think... I think I should just focus one of them. I, I diverted my damage too much. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Let's get let's set up here. Ooh, a Reaper's Body next turn will be great. Action is good. Ah. Should I should I do speed pot or should I just stop the vulnerable? Because I have 21 block and reinforced body next turn, right? So since I have 21 block and reinforced body next turn, maybe I just leave the vulnerable on there. That's the whole beauty of suffering clay with reinforced body next turn, right? Isn't that the whole beauty? I probably take damage here though, otherwise I die to the big hit. There is a buffer in the deck. I mean to click that. Wait a minute. What happened here? It prioritized the strength? Nani? Well, I realized I was like, I, I was frail, so it's okay. Look, to be fair, the reason why I didn't realize is because turn two, I had full block, it was okay. And then turn three, I was frail, I wasn't taking damage regardless. That was not as intended. Let's see how this goes. Uh, that clearly wasn't as intended. I noticed it here, I realized, wait a minute, like my blur is much, my block is much lower than it needs to be right here. 
All right, so let's go back to how we intended it. And I'm probably to lose this fight, but let's just see. Should I get here, de here deliberately? So for every three life I lose here, I'm getting three life for the next phase. The problem is I overblock, but that's fine, I suppose. Overblock, overblock is good because we have calipers. I wonder if I bite the bullet and play demon form. Or saving nine life to import it. It's a really untimely, it's a really untimely void. But on the rest of it, we have red skull. What would be a good exhume? What would be a decent exhume? Offering? La 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 Offering la 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 What about Warcry? Ah, we're fine on HP. This is fine, guys. Fight solved. Now we just gotta do the motions. Let's find permanent blur. Can I blur? Blur myself to sleep. So, now the mathematics of cold snap works such as when you play the cold snap, it reflects damage first. I know this because I know this. Let's look for blur. Found it and I need it and I cherish it. Yeah. Cause it's important that we um, survive the multi-hit. 
Because we don't have weaken. In fact, I gotta kill. I gotta kill. If, actually, is it possible? I need to 190, 190. Good luck. Somehow I need to do 190, 190. Ah, it's not possible. I think we died a multi hit. Damn it. Foolish, ghoulish. So that's what happens. When we do the dexterity as intended. See, this was a flawless run. It really was, okay? It was just a micro error. But our intention was to get dexterity, was it not? So this science is justified. Our intention was use speed pot, get dexterity, win the game. The fact that that didn't happen at first is not our fault. It's the game's fault. But this was a pretty good run, though. Now, uh, like, ignoring that little, like, interaction that happened, it was a good... No, the only thing we got is prismatic shards start. Sick.